going on YouTube ladies and gents fellas and fam hope everybody's doing good in this uh, time of turmoil uh, Tara decided to climb all the way up me claws out so I figured hey let's start a video people like to see her what are you doing she oh she's being camera shy now anyways hope everybody's doing good I want to thank everybody that uh, has came and joined the little show we got going on here um, if you could hit subscribe and uh, see what happens we uh, do a little bit of everything I won't say I just restore tools I restore pretty much anything I can get my hands on I break a lot of stuff too almost said yeah but uh, today I, I just started collecting these not too long ago it's called a crate hammer and they used to use them back in like the 1800s, probably early 1900s, working on crates, and, you know, popping nails out and, you know, they get their goods out and whatnot. So this is definitely doesn't have a maker's mark that I can find. And it's pretty crude. Oh, well, sorry, you can't even see. It's pretty crude. We'll clean it up. And it's bent all cattywampus I don't even know if I can show how bad it is it's pretty bad <laughs> so we'll try and straighten it out anyways if you could click down subscribe and we'll get going first we're gonna try and straighten it so let's get over to the vice Always wear protection. Yeah, always wear protection. <laughs> We're going to use these. Uh, let me switch screens real quick. Yes, kitty. They see you. They see you. Yes. Good girl. Okay. We're going to try these. I purchased these on Amazon. Um, it's 120 grit, 180, 320, and 400. Um, I know some people like uh, 357 Magdad. He makes his own. Um, but they, I got like 400 of them for like six bucks or something. So it just wasn't worth it to make my own. Not 400. Maybe 150. Something like that. But anyways. So we're going to try these. Uh, we'll give them a go. And you guys will see as I see. We got a lot of little crevices to get into. 
So that's why I'm going to use those. It's my first time ever using them. Um, we'll put them on a, a rotary tool. Just a little uh, variable speed rotary tool. Um, they sell these everywhere. Walmart, Snap-on, uh, Harbor Freight, Home Depot. Pretty much anybody has their own version. I have a uh, Dremel and Ryobi and they both work really good. <clears throat> the only reason I use the, the Ryobi one more is because it has a quick detach. You know what I mean? It has a little button that you press in. And the, the Dremel one, it's an older one where it requires two wrenches. This only requires one wrench. So it's just me being lazy basically ow stuck myself with a piece of steel all right let me get set up and then uh we will start cleaning this up I have a minor dilemma this is some kind of hard paint <laughs> um, I don't want to say these things suck but it's not working out very good <laughs> I'm just trying to get the paint off I'm not even trying to form the metal but um, it's not doing a very good job it's disintegrating most mostly than anything so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and uh, I bought a belt sander not too long ago and I need to get that up and going real quick. Um, I have some new belts, so maybe I'll just throw a belt on it and see how it works. Just enough for this, and then maybe that'll be the next project is restoring the belt sander. We'll see. But um, this thing was never meant to be pretty. And, man, it's, it's pretty rough. I'm going to try and get it pretty. But, uh... I'm going to call that for right now, and uh, it's pretty late, so I'll catch up with it tomorrow. See you in a few minutes. Okay, it's the next day or a couple days, I don't remember. <laughs> but, uh, you would think during like quarantine or whatever they're calling it, um, what are you doing, kitty? Sorry, right, you got interrupted. That's okay. Kid wants to take the puppies for a walk, so should be fun for her. But uh, anyways, I got this uh, band sander. It's a belt sander. Um, at a at a estate sale, and I've used it one time. I didn't have any belts, so I finally got some belts. Um, I just picked these up on Amazon, I think. I don't remember, but I got like some different. Um, It, there's an arrow, so I want to make sure it's going the right direction. We are definitely going to put on safety glasses and a mask. <laughs> so, I've been using these masks. It's from RZ Masks. Um, they're washable, but you get a new filter on the inside. I just think it's more comfortable than the strings. Um, I don't get paid by them. They don't give me free shit or nothing. They can if they want to. I will greatly accept free shit. <laughs> Anyways, let's uh, see if we can clean up this, this pretty god awful looking, I don't know if this was forged. It's pretty rough. It was all painted black. We're not going to paint it black. Well, we might paint some of it, but all right, let's get going.
Okay, so let me flip the screen real quick. I didn't uh, expect very high hopes seeing how this wrench was, sorry, this hammer was all bent to crap. It was pretty bad. I'm pretty sure most people would have just thrown it away. So let me let me let me do like a little preview here. Let's clean off the bench. We'll take you off the stand and take it out. Check it out. So I did a satin finish and then a, a gloss black on the inside. Originally the whole thing was painted and yeah, it, it, the finish was horrible. So it, it, they didn't take any care in finishing it. So we did a whole satin finish. Let me know if you like it. Sound good? Anyways, if you could, like, comment, subscribe, all that genius stuff. Click down there, smack it, smash it, whatever the new kids are saying.